so many people are curious about and interested to to know how clear passage came into into being so i've been a physical therapist since 1975 and i developed cervical cancer in 1984 and by the time the doctors found the cancer it had spread from my cervix back toward my rectum so they were uh, hesitant to do a hysterectomy so they were very aggressive with me with radiation i had to go five days a week for eight weeks for 40 external radiation treatments, and that shrank my tumor by half. So then I had to have two internal implants where they put uh, radium pellets in this stainless steel tube and surgically implanted it in my uterus, and I had to lie still in a lead-lined room for 72 hours, and I had to have two of those two weeks apart. So it killed the cancer, but basically uh, destroyed my ovarian function. So uh, the radiation threw me in the menopause at 33. So I never could have any children. And uh, for about three years after the radiation uh, was completed, I became a chronic pain patient. I couldn't work. I had intestinal problems, pain with sitting, pain with intercourse, sacrococcygeal pain, and it started spreading up my back in between my shoulder blades and into my neck. And I didn't know what to do for myself. And I got straight A's all through PT school. And as you know, there was no internet in the mid 80s. So I s must have seen, oh, I don't know, six or maybe even eight doctor specialists. And I got really tired of hearing, it's all in your head, or you have to learn to live with that. And at 33, that was not acceptable. So I started traveling all over the country, getting treated by therapists that did different hands-on techniques that I would read about in the two weekly physical therapy publications. And anyone that helped me, I started studying what they did. And then my husband, Larry, got tired of me traveling so often. So he studied with the same people and he kept treating me and got me off pain medication out of pain and ready to go back to work full time. So that's when we opened our first private practice in 1989, treating complex chronic pain patients, people with headaches, neck pain, back pain, uh, tailbone pain, pelvic pain. And then from patient feedback, we started hearing some very interesting results. So our chiropractor friend said, well, I have four patients uh, who I've been treating for low back pain and, and other issues. And they've all been trying to get pregnant unsuccessfully. And none of them were interested in doing any of the assisted reproductive uh, technology like uh, IVF or anything like that. So he, he referred them to us. Some had blocked tubes and some had other reasons for uh, being infertile. So three of the four patients he referred to us got pregnant. Some had blocked tubes and some had infertility due to other reasons. So then he referred his wife to us and they'd been married for 15 years and she had a history of multiple ovarian cysts. So she had had a lot of laparoscopies and she actually had one of her ovaries and one of her tubes removed and her remaining fallopian tube was blocked. So they actually had adopted a baby and by the time she came to us for treatment, uh, their son must have been six or seven years old. So uh, we treated her, and she came in one day and said, Belinda, I don't know if I should hug you or punch you, because she was pregnant and she was about to turn 42. So that really piqued our interest and started us on a quest that we had no idea we would end up where we are today.